Hello and welcome to this tutorial with me, Rory from Hyper Production. Today I'm here with Sonic Academy bringing you a tutorial on Reactor 6 and Blocks. Now if you've watched the introduction and the overview, I went over how to basically get the blocks set up, how to import modules and explaining about the different uh, variables on the interface as well and how to bring up certain menus and things like that. So what we're going to do in this particular video is create a signal path and actually get some sounds coming out of Reactor. Now we're going to have to do it sort of step by step, so if you just listen up, I'll show you how to do it. So what we're going to do first is click on this Reactor Blocks home menu, so like I mentioned in the introduction, this is going to basically give us a blank canvas. So we click on that, click on No, and the only sort of thing that we're going to need out of this is the Note In, so the rest of it we can actually delete for now. Then what we're going to do is actually open up this home folder, this directory, go on bento box, and then we're going to need an oscillator and an ADSR envelope and then a VCA, which is our amplifier to go on the end. Then to bring up the edit window just below that, obviously we're going to click on our horizontal view here, and that's going to bring up our edit window so we can start actually patching and connecting everything together. And the first thing what we're going to do is drag this VCA at the end here and then just connect it to the output. So this is basically our left and right speaker. Then what we're going to do is just shift down this ADSR down here, and then this oscillator above here. Now, the reason you need the VC at the end of it, because that's going to be our volume sort of control. So this is going to basically stop it from blowing our speakers, if you like. If we just connected the oscillator straight to the output, you will get a very loud low-end rumble, and you will start getting a lot of sort of feedback as well. So obviously we need other modules and parameters to then control and sort of tame that, that original signal coming from the oscillator. So then what we're going to do to connect these are, is we're going to use our pitch to then go to the oscillator. That is basically our note in, if you like, or our keyboard. We are telling it what note to play. So we are now telling the oscillator which note on the keyboard we want it to play. Then from down below that, gate, we're then going to send the gate to the ADSR because we're then telling it when to play. So we've then got our pitch and we've got when to play. So then we're sort of building the foundations of how a normal keyboard works. Then from the out of the ADSR, we're then going to go into module A. And I'll explain a little bit more about that in a second. Then from the output of the oscillator, we're then going to go into the VCA as well. Because we want the ADSR to be controlling the VCA, the voltage controlled amplifier because we're going to be controlling the sound of the oscillator. So you can see how it sort of goes in a big circle, if you like. Then up at the top view here, because we have the output of the envelope going into mod A, so modulator A of the VCA, we can then click on A, and then we're going to turn that modulation all the way up. That means our ADSR is now working perfectly with the oscillator and controlling the sound and the volume of that oscillator. So then if we start playing notes now, we then got a really sort of normal keyboard sound, if you like. So you can kind of see it as it's coming round. So it's coming right down from loud to then quiet because we're actually modulating it. We're getting the ADSR to turn down the volume when we finish pressing the keys. Obviously, if we've then increased the release, it's obviously going to be carrying on that as after we've pressed the key as well. So then our ADSR envelope is now working properly and like normal. So there is just a quick overview of how to get sounds coming out of Reactor 6. I've explained a little bit about the signal path of how you then start doing an initial patch. So for a quick recap, we've got our pitch then basically coming out of the keyboard, which notes we're then playing, which then gets fed into the oscillator. We've also got gates telling when to play the note, which is then going into an ADSR envelope, which is then modulating the VCA, so then controlling the amplitude output of that. And then it's obviously being fed in by an oscillator, which is then generating the sound. And then from the VCA, it's then going to the output. In further videos, I'll exp be explaining about how to then add filters and effects as well. So I've been Rory, and carry on watching. 
thanks everybody for watching commenting and indeed liking we really do appreciate all the support we get here on our sonic academy youtube channel so if you find this video super useful please we'd love you to hit the subscribe button we update the uh, youtube channel every week with new content and if you want to watch some more relevant content just click on the videos beside me